the NOI divided by a property value is simply the net operating income divided by the sale value. It's also known as the overall cap rate. It can be a test of the assumption for the appreciation of the property. Here, we notice that it's 10 all the way across. And that's because it's, it's basically a cap rate number. And what we did on this property is we said that the sales price method was going to cap last year's NOI at a 10% cap rate. And when we go to the income statement, the NOI property value is really a proof of that because what it's saying is it took this year's net operating income and used a 10% cap rate to create the sale value. And then the NOI to property value divides the NOI by the property value to get the 10%. However, if we go back and change the sales price method to capitalize next year's NOI and go back to the income statements, now to produce a sale value, we're taking the next year's NOI shown here to create this number. And when we look at the NOI to property value, we're going to be looking at the current year NOI and dividing it by the property value that was generated by next year's NOI. And you're seeing the property, the NOI to property value changing each year. Another thing it can be useful for is if we exit, we can do the sales price method as a appreciation. We'll say appreciates at 4%. We go back to the income statements. Now the sale value is not related to the NOI at all. It's being a growing, appreciating by a percentage each year. And then when we look at the NOI to property value, this is showing us based on the net operating income divided by the, the sale value, and it shows us the, the percentage each year, what would be the cap rate that would create that sale value. So is it useful? It really depends on whether you want to see it or not. You can turn it off by simply clicking on the print menu item in ratios. You could turn on and off any of the ratios that we're seeing here.